it's Sianya, and you're watching the scene on Avante TV. Keep it locked, alright? Peace. Hi everybody, my name is Charity O Grenade Master Inana, anything you please. And you're watching the scene on Avante TV. And today we'll be chatting with a very, very sexy Nyanya. Hi Nyanya, how are you doing? What's up, how you doing? What's up guys? Okay. Uh, um, there's this question I've always wanted to ask you. What's the name? What does Nyanya mean? Like, it's very distinct. I've never heard it before. Nyanya means desire. Desire? Yeah, like oh. desire for something. Okay. Yeah. Now we see where all this Yeah, so, the, so people used to call me desire back in the day. They still call me desire. Okay, yeah. alright. Um, how was the Hustle Before Project thing? How was it like? The Hustle Before Project thing is just me, you know, just that ordinary guy with a voice, you know, believing, hoping, you know. At times like that, you get promises that won't come through. At times like that, friends will turn enemies. You know, because some of them will try to help you to a point where they can't no more and they get pissed off. But yeah, I've been through it all. I'm just happy for the success. Do you still have the friends you had before Project Fame? Not all of them. No. Uh, okay, we've seen your, your journey from Project Fame to yeah. now. What really kept you going? It's God's grace, you know, basically. It's God's grace, first of all. Um, the fact that I love what I'm doing too, because you know. It's quite stressful. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of uh, touring. For you get rewards. Yeah, but because you're having fun, you love it, so it's easy for you. Back in the days, you were yeah, the lover boy, R&B, and now you're like a carry master and your waist and everything. What changed? Like, why did you change from R&B to Afro pop, hip hop, and everything? Yeah, because I did R&B for five years, okay. and. Uh, Back then, I had like 5,000 followers on Twitter. And some of them were saying, hey, it would be nice for you to try something new. It would be nice for you to change your sound. It would be nice for people to dance to your songs. And I thought about it one day. It was a tweet. I just saw a tweet from one of my fans. I can't remember right now. I wish I did. And then I just thought about it. Uh, went back to Calabar. And Tiki Dance was back. Mm -hmm. And I said, yo, yeah, man, this is fresh. You know, nobody's doing this in Lagos. Nobody's doing this in PH or anywhere. Let me see how I can put this dance on the map with a local song that has gone global. Local, yeah. Okay, so do you, you do you regret changing from R&B to... No, I have no regrets. Why aren't you going to go back to that whole genre again? I'm, I, I still, you know, do R&B on the side. Okay, but we never you know, heard anything... Yeah, that's because of the environment. That's because okay. of so people. society that pushes yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, they they want to dance. They okay. they have times when they listen to such songs, R and B and all that. But it has to be on your album. Okay. You know, it's not it's not really selling right now. Not just Nigeria, all over the world. Right. Chris Brown used to do hardcore R and B. True. Then now he's doing yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> you understand me? Yeah. That, that's what's selling out concerts. That's what's Bringing money, so it's the society, you know? what yeah. the people want. Basically. Exactly. Okay. And that's what makes you the people's man. man. What's your relationship like? How would you describe your relationship with DTUs at the moment? Peaceful, beautiful. Peaceful. Yeah. Okay. There's no drama, no. 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 You guys are still homies and everything. Bless. DTUs again, no. DTUs again, no. It's the How come you have Emanira? What is so about Emanira that distinguishes her from other female acts. She signed on a supposed men group. She's an amazing person, first of all. She's beautiful. And not just that, she's talented. You need to hear her sing. She's a performer too. She's got a lot of energy. That's why we want You recently signed on a new act, Techno. When do you expect music from him? Yeah, he's working on this. this there was this rumor about you and David O that I thought was really ridiculous when they said you were not allowed to get into his birthday party and they said there's no smoke without fire. Yeah. So what happened? What really um, happened? You know, as for that ish, first of all, for people to say that I was bounced from somewhere it means they know that I shouldn't be bounced. So I just want to say big up to everybody for that. You know, because for a minute I didn't think that 
I mean, you know when you just sleep in the house and the city bounced you? <laughs> because you, you were not there at all. I went, okay, this is where I went. I went to uh, the, what they call the club. Confada. No, no, no. I, we, we all met at the club before. Channel O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so David was like, okay, he's going to change. You know, let's just give him like 30 minutes. Okay. All right. I went through after like one hour. The place was packed. Like from the road. <laughs> you get me? And all these people were David's fans. Okay. And they all wanted to enter the club. Yeah. It was hard for us to go through. They had already started fighting, blah, 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 oh. blah, blah, blah. It's only fair that I leave, man. Oh, I get You understand me? That is totally right. It's only fair. But, but I really appreciate the fact that people would say they bounce me somewhere. Because it means, fan. Yeah, it means that they know I'm somebody that can't be bounced. And I it's can't ridiculous. be bounced. You know? okay. Talking about birthdays, this year you celebrated your birthday at the Koi prison. Usually we get news that it was at an orphanage or less privileged. Why did you pick the prison to go to? Um, myself and my team just thought about it. Everybody goes to the motherless prison. It's, it's fair that we, we chill, you know, show prison. love to other people. So, you know, like again, the prisoners, you know, most of the people in there are like, innocent. You know? Oh yeah, I've heard about stories from different. Do you I mean, do you talk to them like about their stories, why they're there, or you just went? And no, no, I just them? went there to show you know people like that just need somebody to just give them hope. You know, when you wake up every day, you see the same worlds for a year, two years, and somebody remembers you, then it's a sign. Uh, trust me, a lot of people there that saw me there just said, "I." This guy can come through and show us love. Then I, I mean, it means that there's something out there I need to go see. So that's the whole line. Are you in any relationship? I'm, I'm, I'm quite. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with my music right now. Don't you tend to find your own personal waste? You know, see, right now it's about making money. Man. Oh. I mean, what? What's a waste without money? I need, I need <laughs> well, money we too. think we already believe that you already have that money too. I don't. You don't. So much money. How much you have in your account? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Okay then. I just wake up every day believing you and thanking God for what I achieved. And I knew that I just started. Okay. What is your ideal lady like? My ideal lady, anything like ideal lady these days. Yeah, like what type of woman would you want to spend the rest of your life with? The only one God gives you. Anyone? Yeah, because these days you like a skinny girl, she gets fat. I'm not talking about... These days like you like a girl because she's going to church, but she's still going to the club. Uh, what else? Did you have a problem with girls that go clubbing? And I'm just telling you, when you say you want a girl that's like this, she could change, you know? So, I okay. mean, this, I'm just like, God, give me somebody, give me my best friend. You know, give me somebody that will understand me. That's just, that's my friend. Okay, so you want your life. woman to be like your best friend, your buddy and everything. You get what I'm saying? All that, she's tall, all that, she's... Okay, so am I your ideal type of lady? We can... I can. We can do things together. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Alright, there's one thing I love about you and it's your body. What do you like about yourself? What do I like about myself? Yes. Aside your voice, that is. And your peacefulness. Are you talking about my body or general? No, I said I like your body. Oh, That's yeah. what I like about you. Thanks, yeah. What do you like about yourself? Besides your body, your peacefulness and your voice. Um, it will just be the fact that I'm, I'm slow to handle. Oh, okay. You're very yeah. patient. Very, very patient. But at the same time, I, I'm one of those people you don't want to see when I get pissed off. You know, but I'm quite slow to handle. You know me for maybe five years. You never see me shout. Yeah, but when I do, it's just crazy. crazy. Okay. Um, what's the craziest thing that Tan has done to you? Like, what made you freak out? Let's just start with freak out. Some things I can't say. Yeah. Just Why can't you say it? Grabbing my balls and stuff like that. I think Male or like, female? Are you kidding me? Right <laughs> I just asking because these days we have a lot of. Yeah. yeah. You can go for that, but what's female? <laughs> what's female? What did you do? What I do? Did you smile? Did you like it? I winked. 
<laughs> As always. Okay, I have just two more questions for you. And uh, what is your take on the use of marijuana?